Yeah. It's so awesome. Dude, look how great Kilo is looking. You are such a handsome girl, dude. You are so handsome. About a year ago is when I got her. And she was maybe six inches long. Yeah, dude, look how freaking clean that thing is. She's definitely nicer now. No more attacking Gianna. Dancing, dancing, dancing. Oh, so fun. What's up, YouTube? What is cracking, my YouTube family? How the heck are you doing? Welcome to the channel. It's your boy, Tyler Nolan, baby. How are y'all doing? So check it, before we get more involved in today's video, I gotta show you what we got going on over here. Who remembers Chloe? Chloe was one of the cockatoos that we adopted, and she, unfortunately, for unknown reasons, she was totally fine one day and then passed away. We have no idea how she passed away. She was in the cage with Prince, nobody was hurting each other, they weren't attacking each other, everything was great. Unfortunately, she passed away, and my buddy just dropped off her rearticulation and dude, how dope does it look? It's so freaking cool. It's so cute. Look at that. Yeah, we got, we're gonna put this up in the kitchen somewhere, dude. She's like sitting on a perch, this sweet thing right here. She's definitely nicer now. No more attacking Gianna. And not only that, she's a lot easier to take care of now. I'm just kidding. Not only that, guys, but check this out. You guys remember Childish Gambino? Chandler gave him to me for my birthday, and then for some unexpected reasons, probably stress for moving and all of that, he passed away the next day, and I was so upset about it. Now, we have him a re articulated as well. So he's back in our care. Way easier to take care of. All we gotta do is dust him off every now and then. So cool. And how, how freaking beautiful. Look how big this shit, look how big this re-articulation is. It's pretty huge. And not only that, I don't have it right now. He's dropping them off this week. Oh yeah, that's a good spot up here too. I also got my Black Dragons re-articulated, both of them and together in this big shadow box, like kind of interlocking with each other. Super, okay. super cool, and I can't okay. wait for that. Yeah, those would look they sick would up look there. Cool there. Remember we're so stay tuned, I'll show you those when we get them. All right, we're gonna go outside and get to work though. And now I'm getting to work. Ooh, look at that. Look at that booty right there though. Hello, cute man, look at you in the house all spoiled. Nobody else gets to hang out in the house. Why are you so special? Who else gets to hang inside the house? Prince. Prince? Oh yeah, okay, so Prince. Oh, hello, you sweet baby. All right, gotta get to work, see you later. All sorts of things are going on over here, guys. I've been real freaking busy. Finally got everything measured and mapped out. You can kind of see those little spikes in the ground over there. Those are where the corners of this enclosure are gonna be. And the water was a lot clearer this morning, but the dogs jumped in it and made an absolute mess. Literally, Hannibal was in it swimming. Even freaking little, little cute Travis jumped in there and he was swimming in there, dude. They loved it, but that's gonna end real shortly because there's gonna be alligators in there. I went over to Okeechobee Feed two days ago and ordered all the posts and game fence and all the bull panels that we need, the gates. Dude, spent five grand on that. So I'm gonna do a video all at the end when we're, we're putting everything together. Probably gonna time lapse it and make a sweet gator enclosure build. I had my well guys out this morning. They're gonna get a new pump for the front irrigation so that way we could run lines to both ponds, the bird pond and both big gator ponds that we're gonna have outside. We're gonna run lines to each one of those things so that way we can have fresh water pumping several times a day. Have it on a timer, you know, every couple hours. It'll run for like 30 minutes and just keep some nice, Nice new water flowing in those things because they're going to be natural ponds. I want it to look as natural and nice as possible. Hello birdies. And then these guys, so Gary and Otis, they're going to stay outside free ranging. And then all these other guys, especially these pain in the butt goats, that whole area over there also got a whole bunch of game fence for that and more posts. So hopefully soon I got to fix this little pavilion thing and then put the whole game fence up over on this side. So that way I could just keep control of these pesky goats and not have so many freaking birds just roaming around. Cause yeah, it is awesome having everything be able to free range like this, but you don't keep in mind that they freaking poop everywhere. So they're pooping all over my driveway. They come into my freaking garage. They poop all in the garage. It's just an absolute pain in the butt right now. And the only reason why I haven't put that game fence up yet is because I want to make sure that we have everything done with the pond. So that way if I have to move any excavators or anything like that, I don't have a gate up or a fence up that we're going to have to get through, which is going to be an absolute pain in the butt. So I got to make sure that pond is done and finished 
before I put that other fence up. There's a method to the madness, and you gotta do things the right way, otherwise you're just gonna suffer in the end for taking shortcuts. And then look at this beautiful thing right here. We finally got a mini split up in this room! Just gotta do a couple things to get that finished up. Marty, my electrician's coming this week to get the electricity hooked up to that. Josh is bringing over more copper wire so we can run it outside because the ones that they sent are too short. But everything is coming together nicely. I have a ton of vision cages also that Vision just sent me. Maybe later on this week, everything that's not Vision in here has gotta go and we're gonna redo this entire room. It's gonna be so much different. Today, we gotta clean some cages, get everything a little bit situated. As you guys saw, we took that black throat monitor. We moved her to a new enclosure that's right next to Onyx and she absolutely loves it. She's out basking in the sun every day and just they're looking at each other. They're, they're aware of each other now. So that's awesome. And to keep them separated or right next to each other for a while until eventually down the road we're going to hopefully breed the black throat monitors and that'll be a really fun project. But today we just got some cleaning to do. Before we do anything we got some poop to clean. Got a big old spicy meatball in the corner of this cage. So we're going to go ahead and use my new awesome big boy hook from Midwest Tongs. I love my baby. This is my female batwing rattlesnake Robin. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna get her on out of here. Oh, this is, oh, this is actually Batman. Thought you were Robin for a second. My bad, bro. So we're gonna go ahead and safely grab him. I love this wide hook though. Makes handling these guys a lot easier. Even though it looks like I'm struggling right now. Just cause he's so freaking heavy. Oh, so let's go ahead, get you down in the can. Go ahead, get out his girlfriend. Robin, how you doing, sweetheart? Gotta be careful with these hooks, man. Sometimes having a big hook, it does make it a little bit more difficult, but safer the better. So it's really not that dirty. We just got this one little spot, but even having a piece of poop and pee underneath the heat light makes this whole room stink, so we've got to just make sure everything stays spotless. This what we got here. This is Batman right here. Whoa. Oh, no, this is Robin. How the heck do I keep getting these guys confused? Let's put this beautiful girl back. So freaking awesome. Now Ryan Gradley over at Primitive Predators, him and Kyle have an albino male eastern diamondback and they also have an albino canebrake female rattlesnake. So hopefully once both of them get of age, imagine an albino batwing like this. Imagine, imagine Batman was a freaking albino. How cool would that be? And it's totally possible. Hopefully with this breeding project that they do soon, maybe I'll have an albino backwing in the next couple of years. So that'd be freaking awesome. This is my lavender false water cobra Delilah. I'm seeing how she's acting today, but look how big she's getting. I don't know if you guys remember or not, but maybe about a year ago is when I got her and she was maybe six inches long. Look how beautiful she's getting. Like so, so pretty, almost patternless. You can see how she doesn't have any pattern for the most part. It's very, very faint. Hopefully I'll be able to breed her maybe in the next like two years when she gets some more size. We feed these guys so much and they're just growing like freaking weeds. How beautiful is that snake? A lot of people don't have these in the U.S. They're getting a little bit more popular, but they're still kind of hard to find. I only know a few people that actually breed them. And I'm super, super excited to be one of the people that have these lavender false water cobras in the United States. I love these guys. Go back in your home. Take this shed out for you. Do we got a whole full shed right here? Oh man, I think we do. I have to give that to Gianna. Make some shed art. Look at that. Holy crap, is this a full shed? Woo, there's the head right there. Hell yeah, baby. We're gonna make something cool with this. Put it on my website. Be sure to follow us on Instagram so that way you can see all the things that Gianna posts. She makes really cool little art projects with these sheds so you guys can have one of my snake shed of your own at your own house. Let's take Kilo out. It's been a minute since we've had him out on the channel for you guys to see. When I got him back from Stones, he wasn't being fed as much as I normally like to feed my snakes and he was getting a little on the thinner side. But now we've been feeding him like two small rats a week and he's finally putting on some good size. So let's get him out with my new professional snake egg. I don't think I've even showed you guys online yet. Check that out, Tylenol Tattoos, baby. Midwest, tongs.com. These things are so sick, super lightweight. You got a grip midway and a nice long grip right here. These snakes are, these hooks are freaking awesome. I don't even 
really like to hold the hook down here. I love these middle grips right here. It's just absolutely great for dealing with cobras, especially like Kilo. Just perfect. Super seamless, really easy to use. You can use the other ends for support. It's so awesome. Dude, look how great Kilo is looking. You are such a handsome cobra, dude. You are so handsome. Sweet, sweet man. He is so awesome. Now, Chandler has my female, another leucistic monocle cobra. So hopefully, maybe uh, once she puts on some more size, probably beginning of next year, we're gonna try to breed him. I'll bring him over to Chandler's house, try to breed him with, uh, with Pearl, and maybe get some all white babies. So awesome. Imagine a bunch of baby, completely white cobras. I'm sure you guys saw that video that Chandler just put out bathing all the little baby cobras. Imagine if they were all white, how cool that would be. You're such a good snake, dude. All right, I'm gonna get him in the can, get his cage nice and clean. Put him back. Nice and clean. Let's get my thick boy back in his cage. Such a handsome cobra. Back up in here. There you go, dude. Back in your cage. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, look at his thickness now. Looks freaking great. And now we actually got my client Rocco. Yesterday I tattooed this super sweet Hanya mask with a snake going through it. He's actually on his way over here. He got tattooed yesterday. He really wanted to come see the animals. They flew down here from Michigan just to get tattooed and hang out in Florida for a little bit. But I'm gonna show you how sick his first tattoo came out. It's never, literally his first one got tattooed by me and it's freaking fire. We got Rocco here. What's up, bud? What's up, guy? His first tattoo yesterday. He, they're, they're out of town from Michigan, like I said before. I'm just gonna give them a little walk through the property, but I wanted to show you guys his tattoo first. Yeah, dude, look how freaking clean that thing is. God dang, so sweet. Not bad for your first tap, bro. Not bad at all, dude. that dude. thing is sick. First encounter over here <laughs> is Chaka Man. He's crazy. He loves to smell like oh, faces man. and beards, bro. He smells everything. He's got that crazy nose. Yeah. You can turn it 60 degrees. He's kind of like a little anteater too. Like he's very, he's all about the smells, man. Oh, that's a good shirt you got on too. Look at that. Hey, that Thank you, baby. Animals. Got those just... cool teeps. Look at those things. She's so cute. That's all blue. He will hump you, so watch out. <laughs> Baby, yeah, they're getting real big too. Oh, you think that's funny? <laughs> yeah. She likes chasing him. Go get Gary, go get Gary. Remy, what are you doing, baby? You standing in your water? She's gonna get a little bit bigger too. She's not a full size cow. She's kind of like mid size. So she'll get a little bit bigger. Those horns will get a lot longer. She real cute though. She loves being in the water. Hey, you stay away from my guests, okay? Prince is another rescue. We got him from a friend of mine. He's just such a sweet boy. Right? He's awesome. He's fully flighted also. He could totally fly and do whatever he wants, but he doesn't just because he's very well behaved. He's a good boy. One of my favorites. How old is he? He's 24 years old. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 24. <laughs> yeah, dude. He loves to dance. He loves dancing. Dance, dude. Awesome. Dancing, dancing, dancing. Oh, it's so fun. So these are all the venomous snakes. All the nope ropes. Yeah, so that's totally different looking. That's know? Gabby. Yeah, they're super, Ooh. super cool. And then we got Kilo, the famous Kilo, the white cobra. Show. Exactly. He's awesome. Oh damn! Oh, yeah. the water. Big old rattlesnakes. Big boys. They are off back to Michigan. Very, very cool. That was a great first tattoo. Imagine not having any tattoos come down to Florida, and that's your first one. Off to a pretty good start. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you on the next one, TylerNolanTattoos.com for all of your merch. Go support your boy, help out with Riders Ranch. Greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate all of it, guys. If you guys wanna come get tattooed, hit me up, TylerNolanBooking.com. Send me an email, we'll go over your ideas and whatnot, you know, you could book something for the shop, book something for the ranch, come do a tour, it'll be freaking awesome. Super, super fun for everybody. Till next time, guys, love you, later, God bless. Follow your dreams most importantly, and I'll see you on the next one.